Kia ora koutou, my name is Patricia Pillay and I'm a postgraduate research student in anthropology, uh, particularly archaeology where I'm a zoo archaeologist and my interests are in human-animal interactions. So today we're talking about my master's research on the diet and oral health of the Māori dog or kuri in Te Ika Ao Māori, uh, North Island, Aotearoa, New Zealand. So kuri, um, that's the Māori word for uh, the Polynesian dog that came with uh, Polynesian settlers to Aotearoa, New Zealand from Central East Polynesia sometime uh, 700 years ago or so. Kupe, who is the famous Polynesian navigator who is said to have brought uh, dogs with him when he first arrived to Aotearoa, uh, New Zealand um, and we know from the archaeological record and oral histories that kuri were dispersed well um, across Aotearoa uh, all the way up to the Kermadex and down to the subantarctic Auckland Islands showing that they have quite a um, significant place in Māori society. My master's was uh, really focused on how uh, kuri fared during uh, the early uh, arrival of Polynesian settlers into Aotearoa New Zealand and thinking about the long-term environmental changes, so with the loss of moa and with the onset of the Little Ice Age and climate change, I wanted to see how kuri uh, fared uh, compared to their Māori uh, owners in this time and so that led me with my supervisors Professor Melinda Allen and Judith Littleton to look at uh, kuri teeth. Um, teeth are really good uh, dental markers because they are good proxies to understand uh, what could he ate in the past uh, can give us uh, clues about their diet, about their uh, nutrition. Uh, what my studies show were uh, could he were generally healthy. They had little to no evidence of uh, disease or dental indicators um, indicating any stress. And when there was stress, it was around the time when dogs were weaning from their mothers. Compared to um, the, their Polynesian uh, relations, uh, the Māori dog here uh, were not consuming the similar uh, starchy foods um, and not competing with humans uh, for those foods either. During the Little Ice Age, which was around 1500 AD, you'd assume kuri health might decline over time, but what we're seeing is over time their relationship with their Māori owners was quite constant and their health over time was quite consistently um, consistently good up until the 1800s uh, into their eventual extinction upon the arrival of Europeans and European dog breeds. Have a look at this skull here. This is our zoo archaeological reference specimen of what um, a Māori dog looked like. And so you can see the skull, it's quite small and resembles closely to a border collie, um, probably the size of a Jack Russell Terrier. And you can see they have quite a pronounced sagittal crest, which really helps with muscle movement, especially for chewing. Oral traditions note that Kuri didn't uh, bark, but more howled. And comparing the Kuri to a modern day St. Bernard's dog, you can see quite a substantial difference in size. So they were very small uh, dogs as well. So perfect to accompany Polynesian navigators on their great voyages across the islands.